Okay, I'm in the studio today, and I'm going to paint two very small canvases, and the size is six by six. And what I want to do is I want to float them into a shadow box. So that's the plan, and I'm planning on doing an acrylic. I have the, all the edges taped with blue tape, as you can see. And I'm uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a base coat down, and I'm going to put... I'm just going to paint them both with gray, with a gray acrylic. And this should dry rather quickly. And then from here, after this dries, I'm going to work with uh, a palette knife. Just a palette knife, no brushes. At least I don't plan on. I want to get them as even coverage as I can. I, think, I wonder what would happen if I put, did it with a brayer. Let's see, maybe I can get it smoother with a brayer. Not really. Well, that's not too bad. Now I'm going to let these dry, get these edges good, let these dry, and then we'll start painting, which only, that's only going to take probably maybe 15 minutes for these to dry, so I'll be right back. I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to come back to it um, because I'm, I'm going to add more white now over everything and a little bit of blue. Maybe I'll add just a tiny little bit of blue now. Where do I want it over here? I like that. Just touch of coolness. Because it's very, very warm. And I'll cover up some of this with white. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the hair dryer um, so all of this sets up and then I'm going to go back into it with white and then it will be finished. So hang on. Okay, they are at the ta very tacky stage. They're not absolutely not dry, but I'm going to put a lot of white over them right now. No, they might need to dry a little bit more. We will see.
like that. I like it because everything is so warm. It adds a little bit of coolness. I like the blue in there. Thinking about drawing into it to put my lines down the side. I think after it's completely dry, I'm going to uh, go into it with an RNF uh, stick. So, um, but it has to be totally dry, so I have to wait until tomorrow to do that. But uh, as of right now, I do like it. I will show you an up close very, very soon. I'm just wondering if this is gray or, or, or if it's the light right there. Okay, it is white. It was, it's just the light that's shining on it that's making it look like it's gray. So, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy two 12 by 12 shadow boxes and I'm going to float them in that and I will show you um, the result of that. Um, There, I had to do that too. Have something going across as well as going up and down. Mess it up a little bit. Up a little bit. Mess it up a little bit. Okay, so that's the way it looks for now. Thanks for. back in the studio and it is the next day and uh, what I want to do is I want to put RNF sticks on this and um, not sure what I how I want to place it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of saran wrap over top of these two pieces and then take a look and uh, draw on the saran wrap. So I'm going to lay the saran wrap over top.
and I'm going to take an RNF stick, and I kind of didn't like this RNF stick, and it's um, their oil stick. If you can read that or not, but that is what I'm using. So I am going to draw on top of this saran wrap to see if this is what I want to do. So I'm thinking about having a design that will incorporate both of the pieces like so and I do like that and what I can do I can move this around like it better the other way but you know I just realized I have this one upside down so so I have to decide how I want to put this on here Then I say, do I want circles instead of a square? So what I'll do, I'll put another piece of saran wrap down. And I will try a circle. like that as well. Let's see what it looks like with just one because they're going to be framed indiv individually. Or one more. Maybe several circles. Let's try that. No, don't like that because this ends up in the middle. Can you see that? Or maybe if I pull it over a little bit. Nope, don't like that one. Hi! I'm going to look uh, at the square again. You know, I think I like the square better than anything. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to get rid of that. And now I'm going to draw and hope for the best. By the way, when you use these RNF uh, oil sticks, they do get a film on them. So what you have to do is take a paper towel and just wipe that film off. like that. So I'm going to have to let that dry. So there you have it. And that is finished in my book. This one has more pink. This one has more white. And I like the orange in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a close-up of them and um, a picture. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.
And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to frame these in a shadow box and I ordered them online. I don't have them yet. So what I'm going to do is after I have them framed, I will put it on my feed and Instagram so you'll be able to see what it looks like after they are framed in shadow boxes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.